I think a fine jewelry is one of the very outdated jewelry practices. I had customers tell me terrible stories where they would buy the ring and when they pick up for the size, the knot would say resize it to the elephant size or rather they would come in and get refused because they're the same sex couple. Meet 33-year-old Al Sandomirova, the founder of Atomic Gold. Atomic Gold is a fine jewelry company that makes and designs pieces for queer, trans and non-binary people and people of different body types. Al started their business as a side hustle in 2013 and grew their sales from 165,000 to 4.8 million. So for me, it was really designing for myself something gender fluid or gender non-conforming or don't combine me into one or two genders and really, really comfortable to wear. Hi, welcome to Atomic Gold. Come on in. This is the biggest room, a lot of custom orders, customer care, a website and design. So for the reused gold, there's generally any just broken pieces or small pieces, which will be refined and made into jewelry later. We set up fires, and this is a classic diamond. This is what classic diamond would look like. This is the big boss. Big boss, say hi. Also the main security. I feel like regular companies assume it's more harder to target to the LGBT community, but I feel like because they don't understand and they make such stupid mistakes, so they think it's harder, but I don't know. For me, it's easier. I felt like customers who were coming for me were trusting me automatically just because of my style and who I am and what I like to wear and what I like to make, what I can blend femininity and masculinity in the way no other person can and can understand them and be nice and be thankful. So I think like they feel what is coming from genuine place rather than to rip them off and make as much money as possible. I was born in the independent republic of Russia, which is called Tatarstan. So I grew up in Christian slash Muslim majority, not very LGBT accepting or gender non-conforming non-accepting. I went to competition for the maths and were winning the medals for the school and I really wanted to pursue it. My dream as a kid was to be someone who discover why planets move the way they move and create new better society for all of us. In 1998, when Al was nine years old, Russia went through one of the worst economic crises since the end of the Soviet Union. I remember my parents crying because they literally lost all the investment and money overnight. We were not able to afford the food and actually starved so much, I started to break all the bones in my body. Due to malnourishment at 11 years old, Al broke their back and was paralyzed for two years. At the same time, they struggled with gender norms at home. When my parents, when I was a teenager, I think found a, a lesbian pornography on my computer. They locked me up in a mental institution to try to heal it away. And I remember be, being given a lot of pills and not being held up there against my will. To escape mental and physical abuse, they moved to the U.S. in 2009 on a student visa. They were supposed to live in Maryland, but stayed in New York illegally. Finding a job and uh, apartment was the biggest challenge. New York has the biggest Russian community outside of Russia. I found a local Russian newspaper in Russian where they posted the ad jobs and I was able to contact a few places and I was able to get the job. It uh, was a gold refinery where we buy gold from the jewelry stores, melt it and refine it and sell it as a pure gold bars. Al says they made $4 an hour working at the gold refinery. To make extra money, they began their side business in 2010, reselling jewelry online. I realized I will not be able to grow successfully or will not get more salary, all the promotion. So I decided to start my side hustle by buying the jewelry from clients from the refinery, repairing them, cleaning them and selling them on eBay. I would put and say, as pre owned drink, I can resize for you for any size for free if you buy it. I would get it for 200, I would sell it for 3 or 350. The first year I opened my eBay store in 2010, I think I sold no more than a few thousand dollars. But Al began to realize that none of the pieces they were selling were jewelry that they would wear themselves. Even though I had inventory of 30,000 pieces, all of them were or too feminine or too masculine. I'm in the jewelry business and nothing I want to wear, nothing I see I want to wear. So that's what motivated me to learn how to make my own jewelry and go into jewelry school. Al attended classes at the Gemological Institute of America from 2011 to 2013. I went for fine jewelry making, I went for diamond setting courses, and I also went to the practical jeweler on a diamond district. So I paid him to be his assistant and to learn the business from the inside. Al began selling their own jewelry designs on eBay in 2013. That year, they brought in $165,000 in revenue. The following year, after expanding to several other online marketplaces like Amazon and Etsy, their sales jumped to $1.2 million. 
People love it. They love what somebody who designs the jewelry actually from the community understand them generally like no corporation can. I think one of my favorite it happened multiple times where both of the lesbian couple designed ring with me at the same time separately. I didn't even know because each customer is just like through online. So when I received the email later, hey, we went to the strip and I was, I was, I was about to propose to her, she can take it out of Tommy Gold Box as well. And I was like, holy it's amazing. In 2016, Al officially launched Atomic Gold as a brand and brought in over $2 million in online sales. AU is the chemical element, 79. It's an element of meaning gold. For me, Atomic is, comes from the word autonomy. It means being independent. So for me, it was jewelry designed by a woman for a woman. And right now, by non-binary people for non-binary people, or for everybody, hopefully. I would sell on eBay, Amazon, Walmart, Sears. I had over 10 platforms. So basically, whoever allowed me to sell online, I would sell it. And all of us platform took uh, at least 30% with all the fees combined. And it was very upsetting to me because I would rather to use this 30% to pay the workers I had at the time. So I said I would rather make less total revenue, but have more profits and have more money to pay my employees who are right here in the community. Al began selling their designs exclusively through the Atomic Gold website in 2020. They also opened a booth at a Manhattan artist market in 2017, but in 2020, it was permanently shut down due to the pandemic. I was so devastated because I lost both online and brick and mortar store sales. But when the COVID started, also the Black Lives Matter movement started. And a lot of my competitors were started to be exposed how they actually racist, rarely hire people of color for the model shoot, how black people get profiled in their stores. And they start to post apologies or just now started to post people of color as their models. But people see, oh, I've been doing it for years. For five years, you can scroll my Instagram. I always had plus size people or people of color represented on me. So actually Black Lives Matter movement skyrocketed my business because people saw, oh, you're actually sustainable and fair, not just using these uh, points to sell. Al now employs 15 full-time employees and two part-time employees. I do a little bit of advertising in magazines, but majority goes right now to Facebook or Instagram advertisement. This is actually my next big business challenge because I'm giving so much of my advertisement money to another big corporation. Atomic Gold finished up 2021 with about $4.8 million in sales, their best year yet. I think my math background helped me because I'm more analytical to the business part and I feel like as a designer I have very personal attachment to specifically my designs or the art and I feel like this is what particularly helped me to succeed and grow my business to this level rather than staying small designer. Last year, Al spent about $762,000 on their employees' wages, including their own salary of about $128,000 a year. Atomic Gold also spent over $2.2 million on reclaimed gold and about $580,000 on advertising. After those costs and other expenses like rent, shipping, and taxes, Atomic Gold finished 2021 with a net profit of about $66,000. Whatever the profit we made, I give as a bonus checks to the employees. Usually each one gets from a few thousand to 10,000 at the end of the year. I remember when I started my business, it was totally niche. Nobody else was doing that. But right now my competitors who before only had feminine, white girls as inspiration include more masculine folks or plus size people. So it's nice and refreshing to see. My dream is to have stores all over the US or maybe all over the world where people can come stress-free and know they will have their size. I want to do better when car capitalist system does. I think people should work less and spend more time with the community, with the arts and receive more money. And that's my goal is to figure out how to build such systems.